I'm Data Debt, and this is my APC40. It's a great piece of hardware, it has lots of buttons, knobs, and flashing lights, and is perfect for DJing, for playing live, or recording multi-track audio. But when I'm in the studio playing digital instruments, I find there's often not a whole lot that I can do with it. So what I've tried to do is to take the hardware interface of the APC and combine it with my favorite creative Max for Lab device, the Mono Sequencer, which was built by Cycling74, especially for Ableton. We can use the 5x8 grid on the APC to represent the step sequence on the left-hand side of the device, and the device controls on the APC to add dedicated knobs for different properties of the selected node. To activate it, we select the connected controller from the drop-down menu and turn the hardware control on. As you can see, the first row of buttons on the APC are now showing the pattern seen in the step on-off panel at the bottom of the mono sequencer. So, if we select a note using the grid, we can begin editing the properties of that note like changing the pitch up or down in half-step increments. We can also activate or deactivate the selected step by pressing it again. The parameters for each note are pitch, which is 12 steps up and down, velocity from 0 to 127, octave plus or minus 4, duration as a percentage of the current step length from 0 to 400, and repeats, which further subdivide that step. We can select the sequence view for each property by pressing the scene launch buttons or by simply turning the knob for the property we want to see. Now let's see what happens when we press play. First, we have these red running lights moving across the grid on the APC to show us what step we're hearing in real time. And of course, we can adjust the sequence in real time to hear it change. Right now, it's all the same note in this 1, 2, 3, 4 rhythm, so let's build something more interesting. Now we're getting somewhere, but it's still a relatively straightforward sequence. And some of you may be saying to yourselves, I could do the same thing in the APC step sequencer that came out years ago, using only the grid, and you're right. However, the advantage of using the encoders for these controls is that you can quickly and precisely dial in the expressive properties of each node, like say, duration. Having sequence control at your fingertips is great, but so is having the regular Ableton session view. While you're sequencing, you can simply switch to any track that doesn't have the mono sequencer on it and get the default APC controls back to normal. Switch back to the mono sequencer track to pick up where you left off. When it's selected, you can also use the clip stop buttons below the grid to switch between patterns stored in the sequencer. And of course, if you need to kickstart your sequence, you've still got all the features of the regular Live 9 mono sequencer available, like randomization, copy paste, adjustable sync, and so on. Cycling74 has already released an excellent 8 video series on the mono sequencer, so go watch those next to see all the crazy things it's capable of. I hope that's given you an idea of the kind of things you can get up to with hardware control of the Mono Sequencer. If you're still lost, click the info button on the bottom right of the device for a visual overview of all the controls. Thanks for watching, and happy sequencing!